Hi, hi. We just got done exploring in the very odd cabin. And because of that, we're now left to explore more of the mountain, explore more of Gen Darm. It's more Yeast 8, and it's me, Nick. We're going to let this ladder down so we have a nice quick place to get back here. But otherwise, hopefully you guys are doing fantastic. Guess that's how I'm going to... Yeah! That's a good way to say it. Remember, we can't... Oh, man, that's a very terrible start. I should have uh, played a couple times just to... Oh, no, 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 no. Should have played a couple of uh, a couple of levels just to get back used to it. But where's the fun in that? Let's just dive right back in. Going in, exploring the mountain. Was we already here? We was here. We're still gonna kill this guy though. A little bit more of a mystery. If you remember, if you guys are walking, watching consecutively, I don't know. But if you're watching this video to video, like I'm actually making them, it's very different to be approaching the game in this way. Because I forget where I am, too. Now I remember. We were exploring the mountain. We had this weird cabin up here. Looks like it's been lived in. Loxio was telling Adol not to look at a certain kind of book. Hee 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 hee. You can use your imagination to figure out which one that is. Looks like it was living in there. Two people living in there, to be precise. But that's about it. We couldn't find anyone. We should continue on up this direction instead. Because we haven't been here yet. And there's a beast ray that I was trying to ignore... But it looks like I'm not going to be able to ignore that for much longer. Because it is on red. I was hoping to at least find the wish tree. If I found the wish tree, it'd be nice. But I can save my extra move for when I do the beast raid. Again, not a fan of beast raids, but hey, what are you going to do? Is it do I Should I do it now? I should probably do it now. But... This is gonna collapse? Oh, I tried to jump when that happened. I'll get a mango before I do that. Just giving them the slices. Is that like a new thing, or did I like not hear when people would call them slices like that before? Oh, I need this thing over here. So I'm trying to put off the raid. Let's just finish off and do the raid. Considering as we're getting back to camp, we can give the the guy doing our garden stuff, the little boy, uh, we can give him our, we can give him the plant seeds that we found before we go off and fight Zen monsters. We can maybe get some more eggplants. Give him the sweet pepper seeds. There you go, Rhea. More vegetable seeds. I don't know how we're able to do these when it's basically rock, but you know, I'm just gonna take it. Plant the seeds. Give me them eggplants. So we can make some food. And... Do we have anything else for him? Nope, nope, we don't have anything else for you. Don't care, don't care, don't care, Rhea. I must defend the village. Which means I have to go down here and talk to our main man. Wait, do I have something for you? No, you're the wish tree person. Let's do this thing. <sighs> level 32? I'm a level like 28, 29? Sure. Come on. That's what you say now, Loxia. Where are they come from? Okay. Well, that was a nice job, Loxia. Good quick kill. I don't know why I switched this to hot for that. There's no point in doing that. I have a move. Might as well use it. They'll give us some extra points, give us some extra rewards. I don't think I've ever gotten an S rank. On one of these raids. Probably because I was really low on levels. Oh, Salamander friend! And by friend, you're not my friend! I tried to get the flash card, but I was stuck in the special move. But he's dead. So is his little friends here. Which, considering I kind of get healed, there's really... You get a higher rank if you do, again, the flash moves and the flash guards. But in just finishing them off... There's, there's really no incentive to, to doing that. It'll be faster if I just, you know, press button. And I'm okay with that. Allison kicking Dogie's butt. Wow, that's great. Gonna run around this pole until another one of them shows up. 
Take the meat bait. Oh, hello. Oh, that was a huge whiff. Okay. Is that it? There is somebody over here? No, there's somebody close to the gate. It's definitely a monkey. I don't know why a monkey is doing that, though. We haven't seen any monkeys on the island, have we? Ah! That guy is not our friend. That one he might need a flash move or a flash guard for. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, did I get him? I think I did. Get him, get him, get him. Okay. I'm not even going to worry about that. Who throws him? Oh, was that? I, I didn't even see... Is it Kathleen? I think Kathleen throws him. There we go. Now he's broken. Was it three waves? Maybe three waves. Party HP 8.1. Yeah, pretty bad. Alright, what's the situation? Doggy's got to pick up the slack. I'm guessing there's... Yeah, it's final wave. Just three waves. Hit him with one of those. And then hit him with one of those. I don't want the flash move or the flash guard. Don't even need it. Oh, they go close again. They did. Cheating. You think they know they're cheating? I think I know they're cheating. It just looks so cool. All the slicing just looks so satisfying. What are you gonna support me doing? I already got rid of them. Oh, is that the one? No, she's the one that freezes the enemy. That makes more sense. Come on, monkeys. Give me a flash move. There we go. Good start. Good start. Good, uh, good start. Good start and good finish. And tornado. And this guy is our finale. Is he already broken? There's no way. He might already be broken, though. He was. What broke him? I'm really curious about that. I might have to watch that back and figure out what actually hit him. Who doesn't know damage round? Good job, me. I'm giving myself a pat on the back. Kind of hope the microphone picked that up. And then Dogie comes out of nowhere and just wins indefinitely. <laughs> what do we get for this? Now it goes through. The clear time was fantastic. Only an A rank. If I would have gotten more flash moves and flash guards, could have been different. I got a life elixir for that. That's that's pretty good. I'm going to use that. No, I'm going to save it. There's no big fights, I don't think, coming up. I say that wrong. There might be a big fight. We don't know yet. No, not the back of the bulletin board. Do we have any other ones? Wish tree. Uh, sparkling mookie, sparkling leaf. I don't think we have that. And then... Uh, yeah, we didn't do any of those yet. Which means... We go back. We're gonna go find this wish tree that... Zahad was wanting. Because he just wants a tree, man. He just wants a tree. Actually, that's not the way to get to the tree. The way to get to the tree is back this way. Do you guys like mountains? I like mountains. If anybody's ever been to New Mexico, New Mexico, climbed a mountain there, it's pretty nice. Once you get past the tree line, it gets really nice to see. That was really it. Just a beautiful sight. I don't really ha I don't know where I saved the pictures of it. I do have pictures of it. I don't know where I saved them. That's the issue. If I knew where I saved them, that would have been awesome. But I don't know where I saved it. Blood formula! 
That was surprisingly a nice juggle between these little snake creatures. And we got more lustrous scales. More flexible branches. On my first playthrough of this game, I remember I had like 99% explored here. And the 1% that I didn't have explored was because it didn't like scrape the corners of this area. So I had to revisit it and it took like an extra 30 minutes to do so. Back to my mountain thing. I used to go backpacking. Decent amount. I wouldn't say, okay, decent amount is probably the wrong way to say it. I went backpacking more often than a normal person that wouldn't go backpacking because I thought, hey, backpacking is fun. Why the hell not? So I did. There was a couple of groups that I went. I was actually in uh, scouting when I was a kid. I know. How cool of me. You never would have guessed me being in, um, a scout. Where's the treasure? There it is. But for one of our backpacking trips, if you know, if you're from, if you're, if you did scouting before, you probably know the place in New Mexico that I'm talking about. But we climbed a mountain called Mount Baldy. And once I hit that tree line, I didn't stop on the rest of the way up because, my god, my group was so slow. It's very clear for the, to the people there who was in shape and who was not in shape. Because I remember I ran cross country. And cross country meant that I had to run a lot and so I was in good physical shape. Other people, these backpacking trips would require you, you know, backpacking say what's a good range probably like six to ten miles a day and these people were just really really not in shape and because they weren't in shape oh there's a treasure chest over here because they weren't in shape it slowed everybody down but you couldn't have one person go in front of everybody else because it looked bad for the group and let's face it there's we're in bear country so that's also not good because it puts other people's lives in danger if you're not in a group so on top of bears and on top of, wait, why am I going this way? No, I'm backtracking this way, yeah. On top of bears, and on top of the fact that people were slow means everybody else had to be slow. And my god, it was suck it was annoying. Because I just wanted to hike and keep hiking. I was at the point where you can have, what was I, like maybe a hundred and, it's like a hundred and something pounds. I was pretty light. Like 130. Actually, not too much different than my weight now, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, we would hike. The days would basically hike, usually do some activity, and then continue the next day. It was really fun, and, I, and for people who think backpacking would be enjoyable, like one of the reasons why I love games like this is because of my time in scouting, and so much fun. My issue, wait, was that, I just came down this way. Does that mean I have to climb up still? Is this where the cabin is? I'm gonna go up here. And explore. But it got to the point where I got so fed up with waiting around for people. I was like, I know I'm done. I'm not waiting around. I'm just going to climb up all the way. And once we hit the tree line, we were safe to do so. So after I hit the tree line, climbing up there, I just didn't stop. I was like, nope, I'm not going to stop for anybody. And the view was so worth it. I thought I was going to dodge that, which I did, but I'm fine. That's my story of how I climbed a mountain and I did it out of spite for my group. <laughs> Pretty interesting stuff, if I have to say so myself. I could change the camera. That would have been easier. But is that... I missed... No, I didn't get it. I'm gonna be extra sure. Because if you miss just one of them on the way, it's gonna be annoying to backtrack all the way and find it. Which you guys wouldn't have to see, because I'd be doing that off, off camera. But... I would have to do it, and I don't want to do it twice. So I'm going to do it right the first time. No, we must keep going. See, Loxia can tough it out. Loxia can tough out the whole thing. You got it, girl. And we have a dinosaur. Run around the dinosaur. Run around... That's a melody that I don't think anybody will ever be able to forget. Just because it's used for every single sporting event. She had a compliment on my shirt that was a sporting Kansas City shirt, which is pretty awesome. <gasps> wish tree! Guys, we almost found the wish tree. It's right over here. Check it out! It's a tree! Huh? 
This tree? That's not the right voice. This would make a perfect wish tree. Oh, you're right. This wand's perfect. Let's bring it back to the village and I'll plan it right away. Come by and help me out whenever you got some free time, Adel. And we got the wish tree. There's gotta be a ladder that we can push down in this area. It wouldn't make sense in my mind, game design wise, otherwise. They just don't want you to take a shortcut. There it is, yeah. They don't want you to take a shortcut to get up there. Ooh, well we got another life elixir. I'm gonna save that one again too. I have a reason for doing it. And we run! Climb all of the boulders. People who live in higher altitude areas... I don't know how you do it. it tires me out. I'm in the Midwest, man. Midwest, you don't have to do that. But... There's a save point. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? Okay, well... I'm not gonna run around and do that again, because I want to heal. What does it mean that there's a save point right here? I wonder if we've had something similar in the past. Looks like a hill. A little more hill. Looks like an open area. I'm gonna guess it's a boss fight. Primordial lurking nearby. Be on your guard. Hi, old friend. That's that's the same one what attacked the village. It's poised to strike. Be ready, you two! Guys, remember this? Ferocious Fiend. Oh my gosh, that did a lot! I tried to make it to his nonchalant. I was like, remember our friend here? This guy was the guy who was one of the first people we actually even faced in the village. Not in the village, what am I saying? I, I gotta focus a little bit up for this one. Because he's doing all of that with that much damage. Granted, he should be able to do that much with every hit. For a couple of reasons. One, we fought this guy for like three times already. Actually, this is pretty smart of me when I'm gonna... Nope, that's not enough. I did the math. Now where's my food? Where's my food? Attack and defense up. Yeah, and then what was the... It was burn, right? No, it wasn't burn. Was It wasn't freeze. It wasn't paralysis. Or was it freeze? Bleeding! That's the one. No, so how get out of there? Oh my gosh, that was lucky. I got so lucky on that one. But yeah, my plan on making it look nonchalant being like, I wonder if you guys remember who this guy is, did not work out so well because he started off by just utterly destroying shop with us. Luckily, I'm able to get a couple flash moves and I'll build up my extra gauge. But his entrance was deadly, like actually deadly. Luckily, so hot and locks, you aren't really getting hit by too much. And that move doesn't do much, it's the head swipe that really does the damage. You defeated this guy before. Oh! That's another attack I forget he gained. Doesn't stop my flash moves. He's not gonna get killed with this move. I just wanna see how much damage it's going to do. Took him down to like a half a health bar. He started off with two full ones. 
Remember, that doesn't do any damage. It just... I thought I got the flash move on that. Doesn't do any damage. It just knocks you back. So it resets the situation. A little far away for the flash move. Not for that one. Let's bring the Loxia. Loxia, you, can, you got... Let's bring the Sahad. Sahad, you got this. Sahad's about to get a level two. Oh, look at that wind up and the Magna Ram. No, don't be thirsty. Don't be thirsty. That's not the move I was hoping to do. I think that mainly works. There we go. This is going to finish him off. Yeah, good job, Sahad. With the best weapon in the game, this weird ass anchor. My plan was to use the experience, give him the level up, and the level up will take him there. But didn't end up working. Oh man, it's not. Anna, we must retreat before. I'll help you out. Primordial ran away. Uh, what just happened? I think we were just saved. You guys humans too? A little girl? Who are you, squirt? It's tea. Drink up. When you've got guests, I heard you're supposed to serve them tea. Y yes, of course. Thank you. Oh, the aroma is quite pleasant. This is surprisingly delicious. I'll say. Never thought I'd drink something this tasty in a place like this. <laughs> it's my special blend. Pick the leaves myself, you know. Did you now? So you really do live here. Yep, yep. So, who are you guys? Adel introduced everyone and explained that they came from off the island. Off the island? Just like father! Father? You got a dad here too? He's not my real father, but he taught me how to talk and stuff. Ah, I see. You're not kin. I've learned all kinds of new words by studying lots of books. You're reading books that washed ashore? Is that how you learn to prepare tea? Indeed. Books teach me all about what it's like off the island. They're super important. <laughs> you got your nose to the grindstone, Squirt. Does that mean I'm amazing? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty amazed by you. <laughs> I study, study, study. So my head starts hurting, you know? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Say, have you guys seen my father? Your father? We haven't run into anyone up here except you. Oh. Father? 
father went out and hasn't come back yet. What do you mean? He went to the mountains about a month ago to observe the primordials. But he's still not back yet. I went looking for him, but I couldn't find him anywhere. Uh, that's not good. But sounds like your old man's a real tough fella. Marching up to a bunch of primordials? Yep. Cause he's got these. It looks like some sort of throwing dart. Is this what you used to repel the primordial we faced earlier? This metal can kill primordials. What'd you say? I've never seen such a fascinating metal. So, if we made weapons out of this metal, we could defeat primordials. Indeed! But only Father knows how to work the metal, and I'm down to my last dart. Well, shoot. And here I thought we were about to start kicking some primordial ass. Still, this is a significant lead. Uh, by the way, Rakota, does that journal over there belong to your father? You mean that one? Yep, that's his, all right. And all the notes we found signed by this tea person must have been written by your father. My father signs all his journal entries as T. His name is actually Theratos Veldin. Of course. The T stands for Thanatos. I'm concerned for your father's safety. It would be wise of us to meet him. He seems to know much about this island. But before we can do that, we must take necessary measures against the Primordials. If only there was some way to get more of the metal used to make that dart. What do you think, Adolf? Well... Huh? Go back and do what? Well, we could ask Kathleen about the metal. Oh yeah, she might know something. Where are you guys going? Yeah. Take me with you! I want to know more about this dart. Maybe it'll lead to father. Please. I wanna... I wanna see my father again. Adolf, do me a solid. Bring her along, will ya? <laughs> That's right. After all, we owe you our lives. Rakota, I insist you come with us. You mean it? Wouldn't be right to leave a little girl all by herself up here, now would it? Thank you so, so much! <laughs> Welcome aboard! All right, now let's return to Castaway Village. Tally-ho! <laughs> Well, that was a lot. We have a new party member that we're going to show off right now. What if we go to the party? And that is Rakota. Rakota Beldeen. We figured out that Thanatos Beldeen, the guy who's been signing all of, the, all of his notes that have been left around the island with T, his real name is Thanatos. But with our new party member, which we should check out what skills she brings to the table, she makes Handmade Trap, Wild Spin, Green Whip, and Beast Attack. Can't really equip other ones, but she is the same weapon type as Sahad. So we had Hummel that's the same weapon type as Loxia, and we have Donna that's the same weapon type as Adol. The reason I saved the life elixirs is because I wanted to give one to Rakota. Rakota barely has any health. Might give her two, and I'm gonna give the second one to Loxia. That was the reason why I wanted to save. What was it called? The Life Elixir. Life Elixir. I was thinking of HP up for some reason, just because Pokemon. 
But yes, it's gonna do it for this episode. We got, we met Rakota. We fought off our favorite dinosaur, primordial friend, and now we have to figure out what that weapon dart was made out of. So, time to go see Kathleen in the next episode. <laughs>